old man said to a young boy, I must go away. But you see this pear tree, my pear tree, full of pears. Don't eat the pears because they are poisonous. You can ask me a couple of questions about the story to find out what happened. Just um, for 30 seconds. Okay, so ask me. Was the boy eat the... Of course the boy ate the, pe <laughs> ate the pears, yes. The boy ate the pears, yes. Seven. Well, the pears were not poisonous. The old man said they were poisonous, so the boy didn't eat them. But of course, the boy ate the pears. Yeah. Why did dad say that I said that? Uh, I don't think it was his father. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was his father. That's but he said that so because he didn't want the boy to eat his pears. So he told him a, he told him a lie that they were poisonous. Why did that? Because he didn't want the boy to eat the pears. Okay. You know, he wanted the pears for himself, or maybe to sell the pears. Yeah. What did the boy say to the old man when the old man came back? Ah, that's a good question. <laughs> Remember the pot? Yeah. yeah. He said something about the pot. Remember, it's a clay pot. I've broken the clay pot. <laughs> You're too clever. Okay. So, tell the person next. Do you know this story? No. Tell the person next to you, what do you think happened in this short story? The old man went and the boy looked at the pears. They looked so sweet and delicious. He picked a pear, he tasted it, it was so good. He ate all of the pear, and then he took another pear, and he ate another pear, and another pear, until he had eaten all of the ripe pears on the tree. But then he remembered the old man would come home soon. What could he do? The old man would be angry. The boy he went and found the old man's best pot. He took the pot and he broke it. <coughs> when the old man came home, he found the boy crying next to the broken pot. What happened? said the old man. Oh, said the boy, I broke your pot by mistake. And I was so upset that I ate all the pears so that I would kill myself. <laughs> the old man could not be angry. <laughs> because he said to tell, tell the boy this, the pear is, he lied to the boy. He lied to the boy. Yes. He lied to the boy, exactly. <laughs>
Can I ask you to just stay with your partner and answer these two questions? One, what did you imagine while you were drawing? Two, how did drawing the picture help you to tell the story? Could you answer those questions with your partner? the story without words was really helpful for me for drawing after. The first miming. Yeah, the miming. And, exactly. and then the drawing. It helped you to draw. Yeah, the miming. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Because I think uh, mm, when I draw the picture, uh, I imagine the story and the emotion of the character. So. When I yes, to, when I told the story, I it easy to the um, it easy to imagine the characters' feeling 